Welcome back to Lake House Music. Thank you, Taylor, so much for that performance. You were amazing. Uh, woo! Yeah, Taylor, give it up. <laughs> I am very excited to be here right now with Samantha Giustiani, Senior Director of Education and Outreach at the Count Basie. It's so nice to meet you today. It's nice to meet you too. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. So I have to ask, what do you do for the Basie? So as you mentioned, I'm the Senior Director of Education and Outreach. So we have a, an Academy of the Arts. I handle all of the performing arts aspects, the theater classes, some dance classes, and now we have some visual art classes. And then I also work on a lot of our outreach programs. So that includes bringing kids to the theater or now showing virtual performances. We have a large initiative called Mind Aligned, and we have some uh, programs in our local schools. That's amazing. Um, so what does the partnership between the Basie and Lake House mean to you? I think the partnership speaks volumes, especially in the time that we're all going through. Um, I think it's really great to have a location in Red Bank. You know, the Asbury Red Bank connection, especially with music, is so strong. Mm -hmm. um, and just to have classes here, close to where our, mu our uh, conservatory is, to provide this opportunity for students in this area is really wonderful. Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited. It's very exciting. We're very excited. <laughs> and then, um, what events do you have coming up this summer? This summer, so we have summer camp and classes starting July 12th. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a really robust uh, productions program, so that runs from ages uh, seven all the way through 18, and that concludes with performances on the stage. We also have week-long camps. A lot of students like to try stuff over the summer, so musical theater, uh, private lessons and in music instruments. Uh, it's a jam-packed summer, yeah, so July no, 12th bet. through August <laughs> <be> 20th. <laughs> 20th. <laughs> so I know you were talking about a little bit before about a Mind Align. Can you just give us some more details about that? Sure. So Mind Align is a collective impact initiative in Monmouth and Ocean Counties, and it's really focused on making sure that schools and their communities are engaged in the arts. Mm -hmm. And we do that through professional okay. development for teachers, through supporting the arts education that's already happening in the schools and providing arts experiences for students. That's awesome, and so important. It's much needed. Um, how many schools are in this program being used? So right now we're in 17 schools wow. between the two counties. Wow, that is a lot. And then how effective are creative teaching strategies? So the teacher's response to the creative teaching has been amazing. We've even had teachers using them at home, especially during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, they increase student engagement. Uh, student collaboration, uh, even things down to confidence, grit, perseverance, they've all seen increases when that's they use them with the awesome. students. And then have you found, because I know personally for us, we found actually virtual learning amazing. We've been able to really branch out in certain areas we never would have thought before. Have you guys felt the same way as well? Definitely. I think the virtual learning will always be here now in some capacity. The yeah. opportunities to bring in artists from all over the world. That's the best part of it. Yeah, I, that's something that wouldn't have existed with without this. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, while we're all looking for moments of levity and light, I yeah. think that's a really <laughs> positive thing that's that's come Absolutely. out of this. Absolutely. And then what sets education through the Basie apart from the rest? That's a great question. <laughs> I a think tough one. it is. <laughs> but I, I, I can answer. I feel confident in answering. I think, you know, one, our teachers. We have really passionate, really professional teachers that really, really care about the education of the students mm -hmm. and the focus on process along with product, but the, and how the process really changes the student as a person. Yeah. You know, some of our students will go into the arts as adults, mm -hmm. you know, go to college and go on to careers in the arts. Some of our students won't, yeah. but their experiences in the arts here do shape them as they move forward. Absolutely, and that's the same with Lake House because we're so fortunate where we have you know students who are 69 and just starting for the first time, mm -hmm. or then we have students who are five years older and they're like, mm -hmm. let's you know give this a start. So it's really amazing to see all these different age groups just branch out. And so, what's your favorite thing about the Basie, which I'm sure is a very <laughs> yeah, that's a tough question. I've been here a long time. Okay, so there's there are a lot of favorite things. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I love all of the education programs we have. I mean, the lights go down when we have got 1,600 kids in oh the historic gosh. venue, and they scream mm -hmm. virtually for no reason. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's an amazing moment. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I'm really proud of all of our teachers and the staff at the Basie. I'm just so proud of being part of this team, especially in the last year, yeah. and how we've been able to innovate and just continue providing the arts and education to our community. Yeah. So then what do you want people in the community to know about the work being done at the Basie? So I think, you know, we've worked really hard to make sure that everyone knows that there's education outside of the shows that we do here at night. Mm -hmm. um, 
also that being said that we are open yeah you know that's we're lucky to be open in this time and we're following very strict guidelines and you know as long as people are willing to wear their masks you can come enjoy some music yep. some comedy and now we have lake house music here so we can yeah. you know do everything all in one area we which really is can. so exciting so then you know i have to ask who is your favorite musician that's probably the toughest question <laughs> you've asked so far i mean i'm gonna pick a, a classic he's always my favorite just the voice is freddie mercury oh wow since i've been a kid Whew. what a guy did you love the movie I haven't seen it. I've been really nervous to see it. You have not watched it? I have not. Wow. He was phenomenal. Okay, he all right. did it amazing. I, I have heard. It's like <laughs> when it's your favorite thing and you don't want it to like ruin it. Right, you know? right. <laughs> so I've been nervous. COVID, I watched it three times on an airplane once. So <laughs> it's good. All right. And then lastly, I have to ask you, what does music mean to you? I mean, personally as a performer, Former music is transformative. Yep. But even as an individual, I mean, you can hear a song and it takes you back to a certain time. Mm -hmm. You can hear a song and have it cheer you up. Yep. You know, it's it's food for the soul. Absolutely, absolutely. I have to thank you so much for joining us today, Samantha. It's been phenomenal. Up next, we have sorry about that. <laughs> Very difficult. Up next, we have a live band workshop where we teach someone with no musical experience how to play something. So stay tuned for that.